Hey guys, it's Galaxy Girl and welcome back to another video. In today's video, I have a very, very exciting challenge for you guys. So, basically, I'm just going to get right into it. Um, an art channel that I really, really enjoy watching. Are you serious, Toaster? An art channel that I really, really enjoy watching called Minty's Sketchbook. I'll leave it right here, right on the screen, right there. Um, and I'll also link the channel down in the description, so go make sure to check um, it out after this video. Just hit 1,000 subscribers, which is so crazy and a huge milestone. Um, but yeah, so for her 1,000 subscriber video, she is holding an art competition that I decided that I would enter. Basically, the art competition is pretty simple. She just gives you a prompt word and you have to draw an illustration that makes you think of the prompt word. So the prompt word she gave for the art competition was galaxy. Obviously, um, it was pretty ironic since I am galaxy girl. <laughs> But I wanted to try and think of something really, really creative for this prompt. I didn't really want to go for the typical alien or I designed my own planet. Although that would have been pretty creative. Okay, <laughs> just just forget about that one. Um, yeah, but I really wanted to try and think of something out of the box. Something that, while it would be very creative um, and very cool, I would have a lot of fun doing as well. Um, and I would be able to get creative with it myself. Um, so I came up with an idea that you will shortly see in the time lapse that I think is pretty creative. Um, and I know I had lots of fun doing it. So I'm really excited to submit this video and show it to you guys and to Minty, I guess. Um, but yeah really quickly a few things i have to say though if you guys want to enter this challenge you can enter it with or without a channel um if you enter it with a channel make sure to use this hashtag um and obviously just the same prompt word galaxy um and you just submit a video of you making your art if you want to do it without a channel just email um your finished creation to this email to enter the challenge i really um encourage you guys to enter the challenge i had so much fun doing it um and while it was really awesome to be able to just kind of support her on this big milestone um i had a lot of fun doing it and i think it challenged my artistic brain and that sounds weird yeah but another thing I quickly want to address, if you guys have been seeing my previous videos, you guys will know that at the end of the videos, I have been telling you a hashtag to put down in the comments, um, just to basically tell me that you've liked, subscribed, and turned on your post notifications. And I will tell you that at the end of the video, for a chance to be shouted out in my next video. Today's shout out goes to Kaylee Rose. Thank you so much, Kaylee Rose, for watching my most recent video and putting the hashtag last time's video, which was hashtag unboxing, in the comments. So, thank you so much. Yeah, finally, let's get on into the time lapse. Okay, you guys, so I didn't want to give away too much of my idea in the intro because I wanted to save time to just explain it all here. So, basically, my idea, it's a little bit confusing, but it works, I guess. <laughs> Um, the first thing that came to mind for me when I thought of Galaxy was Star Wars, which is a little bit strange, and I know you guys are all going to come and hate me in the comments, but I don't really like Star Wars that much. I'm more of a Harry Potter girl myself, um, <laughs> but yeah, so I thought of Star Wars, but um, I didn't really just want to do Star Star Wars, as you can probably tell from here, my characters are looking a little bit not like Star Wars, the typical Star Wars characters. Um, I decided that I wanted to put my own little spin on it so I could be more creative with the final products. Um, so I basically did the Star Wars characters, but all flipped genders. So I did who I thought were basically the main characters. So Darth Vader, Luke, Leia, um, 
Han Solo and Yoda and just basically flipped all their genders. Um, you could call it creative. You could call it a mess. <laughs> um, I don't know. I think it's maybe a mix of both. But I think it was fun. Um, I had a lot of room to play around with it. Um, I didn't use a reference, so if they look kind of weird, that's why. But, like, I didn't want a reference to, like, stop my creativity from flowing. <laughs> I don't really know. But, yeah, I am really, really happy with the way that it turned out. I don't know how great it is, but um, I had room to experiment with highlights and shading and blending. Um, and I thought it was... I don't know, it just gave me a really good opportunity to play around with my art style for a little bit. Um, and I actually really, really like the way it turned out. I think it's pretty creative. I don't know <laughs> how creative it is. Um, maybe it's just a mess, but yeah, I'm, again, really happy with it. So here's the final photo. Okay, you guys, so here is the final picture. Um, all done and everything. Um, I'm actually super, super happy with it. Um, I don't know if this may sound a little weird to you guys, but this is actually one of my favorite drawings that I've ever done. I loved how I played around with all the highlights and the eyes. Um, and I played around with the blush, especially on Luke. Um, again, I was trying to make him look like a girl. <laughs> But like still have the same personality kind of um <clears throat> and in the sketch um i wasn't really very happy with it um it just wasn't it just kind of looked like the original a little bit just with the hair and everything because he kind of has long hair in the movies um longer hair not like super long but yeah um and once i started adding the highlights and the blush um and the shading and everything um it, I got it to look exactly the way I wanted to. Um, I think it looks really, really awesome. Luke and Yoda, I think, are definitely my favorite. I love Yoda. I was trying to go for, like, a realistic -y vibe for the three of them. Just, like, you know, what I thought they would actually look like with flip genders. But then with Yoda and Darth Vader, I just decided to kind of go crazy. I put little bows in their hair, and I put one on top of his helmet, and I gave him little pigtails. Um, but I'm so, so, so happy with it. I think it looks really great and really awesome. Um, and I'm really happy with it. I don't really care if I win or lose or anything, but I think this was a great experiment. Um, and definitely a great, great challenge to help me experiment with my art style. So thank you so much, Minty. Um, but yeah, I'm really, really happy with it. Um, for this illustration, I just wanted to quickly show you guys I used the um jelly roll um white gel pen uh i used the pigma micron for a fine liner i used this faber castell mechanical pencil but a pencil is a pencil really doesn't matter i used this poo tote kneaded eraser but you can use any eraser really um and then i used my ohuhu markers i have the 80 set i believe um something like that um let me show you guys on the inside yeah um and then i just have the chiseled nib and bullet nib set i don't own the brush nib it really makes no difference um i've heard the brush nib is really really great i have a friend who owns the brush nib but i have the set it really doesn't make a difference but yeah, I'm so, so happy with it. So I want to thank you guys so much for watching. Please remember to like and subscribe and comment down below the hashtag of the day, which today can be Star Wars. <laughs> yeah, I want to thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Stay safe. Bye.